Baylor 31, Iowa State 24. And what a... what I'm not going to call it a screw job, but the officiating was questionable in this game. I think that's the easiest way that we can put that, right? Uh, started out weird. You got targeting calls that, I mean, it was just a picture-perfect tackle. Uh, you just had weird things happen in this ballgame. And Baylor, I mean, to their credit, was able to capitalize, and they took advantage of the situation, and they were able to get a win. Iowa State in this spot. This is the Iowa State that that we've kind of grown accustomed to, right? Two turnovers in this game. Um, you look at the play-by-play here. We're going to pull it up on the screen for you. Uh, you look at this, and interception that did not lead to points, but then you have an interception that did lead to points, uh, made it 31 to 14 and then they were able to fight their way back but at that point i mean it was too little too late right like baylor as far as the score goes basically dominated this game uh it was it was rough to watch because i i mean we, we could have had iowa state and kansas undefeated next week and i i really thought that game day might go there and instead game day is going to nc state and clemson i guess uh, <laughs> I, I, like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of tired of Clemson at this point. Uh, Hunter Deckers, 23 out of 36, 284 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. Uh, Brock, 14 carries for 73 yards. Uh, you know, Baylor, able to run the ball. Like, 42 carries for 123 yards. Like, not bad. Blake Shapin was the surprise of the day to me. 19 out of 26, 238 yards, three touchdowns. He didn't miss much. He was pretty good in this spot. And when you go back and look at just... It, the the game seemed closer than it really was for a long time until Baylor was able to take advantage and go up, you know, 31 to, uh, 31 to 14 late. But it felt pretty even. I mean, yards per drive, uh, there was an eight-yard difference. Iowa State, 48. Uh, Baylor, 54. Plays per drive, pretty even. Both a, a little over eight. Uh, this was, you know, not bad. Not a not a bad game at all. I think Iowa State is better than what they showed, most certainly. But Baylor found a way to get it done. And cheers to them for getting a road win after losing to BYU a couple of weeks ago. They come out and they actually trust Shapin in big time spots, and that was important, like just incredibly important. So props to them for getting that thing done. Because, man, it could have been a long road to hoe if they had not finished uh, this one off. Uh, Baylor coming up next. Oklahoma State next week at West Virginia. Then you got Kansas at Texas Tech at Oklahoma. I'm telling you, the Big 12 is just a disaster for everybody this year. Like, it is... <laughs> these, are, these are really good football teams. And they are going to be just beating each other senseless week after week after week, and I cannot wait to watch this because it's, every week is going to be fantastic games. Like, I, I've got no idea who I should be uh, who I should be betting on or, or any of that right now because these teams are nuts, absolutely nuts. So uh, props to Baylor for getting that done. I mean, good gracious. That was, uh, that was something else. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.